Hey gang, happy Friday. I hope everyone is ready for a great week and welcome to another installment of Friday FaceTime. Um, this week I am going to focus instead on readers' questions that they've sent in individually. I'm focusing more on the biggest question I received on Sunday and that was what happened to the national half. Um, if you've been reading for a while, you know that my goal was to PR and run the national half in a time better than last year, which was 212. Um, I've been working with Gia of Run Gia Run um, as my run coach for the past couple of months since pretty much about December, January time period. Um, and I was really, really excited for the weekend and unfortunately totally bonked in the race. Um, it took me a while before I actually wanted to be able to talk about this because it was tough. It was a really tough thing to go down with a bunch of friends, have a lot of people that you know running a race, and feel that you failed your blog readers, your friends, and all those people who are tracking you. Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit really quickly about what I think happened and what I'll do differently next time. Um, at the time, on Sunday, if you had asked me, I couldn't tell you what I had done wrong. Um, I knew I went out too quickly, but other than that, I couldn't really think of anything. Um, I had really bad stomach troubles along the race course, but I couldn't figure out what caused it. As G and I worked together this week to try and step back and reassess, there were a couple big things that I saw. Um, first of all, last week was a crazy week for me, not only work-wise, but also from a workout standpoint. I had two blog events that were workout-focused, and while I told myself I was going to take it easy, um, I'm not one to do that in a workout class. Um, if you've ever taken one with me, I'm going to give it 110%, regardless of what I have going on the next day. So last week from Saturday through Friday, I had nine different workouts. That's not exactly a way that you relax and get ready and taper for a half marathon. Um, I think another thing was just my mindset. After you've run a marathon, sometimes, and you've trained for a marathon, sometimes you forget that a half marathon is still a really big deal. Um, and every race is a big deal, whether it's a 5K, a 10K, a half marathon. Even if you're taking it lightly, it's still a big deal for your body. Um, so trying to PR a half marathon is an even bigger deal. And so I don't know that I necessarily took this as seriously from the preparation standpoint um, the week of the race. I did not get ample sleep last week. Um, I was sitting on a bus for five hours on the way down to Washington, D.C. with a very small lunch of a salad from a pizza restaurant, a small bottle of water, and then luckily all of the Trader Joe's snacks um, that Caitlin brought. But most of those snacks, other than the pretzels, were things that I'd never tried before. So it's never a really good idea the day before or day of a race to sit here and try a lot of foods that you haven't tried, which is something that I did while we were on the bus. Um, I felt dehydrated all day Friday, and then looking back, realized that I had not had enough to drink the whole entire week, especially Thursday and Friday, or even Saturday morning before the race. Um, in addition, our dinner reservations weren't until late which meant that I was eating dinner around 9 o'clock, which for me, even though I live in New York and I work weird hours, um, I'm normally not eating dinner at 9 o'clock. So eating a pretty heavy dinner, because it was carb loading, um, probably eating too much also, at 9 o'clock wasn't a good idea. And on top of that, that meant going to bed around 11 o'clock, which is later than ideal when you need to give your body rest because it hasn't had rest during the week. Um, so really looking back at these type of things, I didn't set myself up for success. So talking with Gia, it doesn't matter what you put into the whole grand scheme of training if the day you go out there, your body's exhausted already, you haven't fueled it the way it needs to be fueled the week of, um, it's thirsty, and it's just not ready to run. So every race isn't going to be perfect. That's what makes the great races even better. Um, same thing with training runs or even daily workouts. So I think for me, it was a great experience. It was eye-opening and humbling. Um, and you know what? That next race, hopefully it'll be mine. So thanks for your concern. Thank you so much for your cheer, your happy thoughts, your ability to relate. Um, you know, it was just as disappointing for me as I'm sure it was for some other people. But you can't always have a great race. So have a great day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.